Welcome to another edition of Swim Easy Speed. Today we're going to look at, uh, this was a submission on the YouTube channel, actually. Um, a lifeguard uh, was asking for some assistance. He wanted his stroke a little bit better, and so here we go. Um, you know, the, the biggest thing here would be, you know, his tempo is a little bit slow. I think I clocked this at like 2.9. So, you know, we typically want to be for maybe a distance swimmer somewhere between 1.3 to about 1.7. You know, you can see a little bit, you know, if we back it up, maybe slow it down, you can see that he's kind of at this kind of angle right here in the water. So that's usually indicative of, you know, more core engagement, just maybe a little bit more balance on the water getting. And a lot of that just comes from, hey, you just got to get in the water and swim more because you can see, you know, it looks like he's driving the stroke straight forward here. He's driving the stroke straight forward here. There isn't any crossover going on. Um, you know, he not even really rotating that much to get the breath. The feet are down, obviously. You know, there's a little bit of a scissor kick. Um, partly that's probably with if he got maybe a, a better suit and not kind of like lifeguard shorts. Um, those are going to, with the drag, they're going to tend to bring down the back end a little bit. Now, he is just breathing to one side, which is okay. But one of the things that's happening is you can see right here, he gets a pretty long reach here. And then when he comes back onto the other side, it's a little bit shorter. So what you'd want to do would be just make sure that you rotate through there um, on that side. You know, you could also do kind of like a six kick switch drill. Um, and I don't know if I have any of those, but I'm, I might make one up and I'll, I'll post it up. Um, the other thing is with that lack of core engagement, you can kind of see it right here, um, with that elbow dropping on the entry, um, that's gonna, you know, present some issues with pressing down at the front of the stroke, which is going to kind of exacerbate those feet dropping in the back. Um, so, you know, the biggest thing though, that he needs to do is everything looks pretty good. Just get in. Uh, think about engaging the core a lot more. So bring that belly button up into the spine, lengthen out the distance from the belly button to the sternum. Any kind of cue that helps to foster that kind of core engagement. Um, and then the other thing that he'd want to do would be kick with the brick. You could do the kick with the brick with the fins. Um, and Or you can just get a regular kickboard. You don't want to go out and buy a brick. That's fine. Um, the brick's going to help with core engagement a lot more efficiently and then also help to build up a great kick. But what you're trying to do is just to get all of that musculature to connect together. And the only way you do that is by making the movement over and over and over again with a lot of focus. So it's great to have really good technique, but you only get there through training, and you just got to put in the time in the water. So as always, thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. That helps the channel a lot, and I hope to see you in the pool soon.